Let's learn in this video how to use Azure Key Vault with Airbag in order to get access to only some specific secrets within my Key Vault instance. When using Key Vault, typically we use it to use the access policy and that will give my user or my service principal or my managed identity access to my secrets. But the problem here is that I should give that identity access to all my secrets within that Key Vault instance. Now, with the latest release of Airbag for Key Vault, we can give our users identities or the service principal access to only view or manage some specific secrets within that instance. Of course, this is applicable to the secrets, the keys, and also the certificates within Key Vault. All we need to change from Key Vault here is going to the permission model and change that from access policy to use the new Azure Airbag role-based access control. With this new change, now when we go to secret and we create a new secret, here I have one that I have already created, I go to that secret and from here I get the access control EAM at the scope of my secret. So if I go to access control from here, I can go to role assignments and see that here I have already few role assignments like key vault secret officer. This role will allow me to create secrets and key vault secret user. This one will allow me to list and read uh, the uh, secret. And note that those roles are bound to this only secret, this database secret. If I create another secret, I can give it other roles and to other users or to other service principles. And if I go here to add a new role assignment, I should see from here the roles that, are, that could be applied to the secret certificates and so on. So here I can have a role like Key Vault Administrator, a Key Vault Certificates Officer, Key Vault Contributor, Key Vault Reader, Secrets Officer, Secrets um, User. And here for myself, because I have this role as Key Vault Secrets User, I can read the value of that secret. So if I go here to the overview, I can click to the uh, latest version of that secret. And from here, I would be able to access that secret and click show value. That one will show the value that I've used for that uh, database uh, secret. Follow me next to see how this airbag roles works with uh, Terraform. When working with Azure Key Vault in Terraform, we use it to use the access policy in order to grant the user the permissions to view, uh, list, uh, set, or delete the keys, secrets, and certificates. And because now we can use airbag to specify those access roles, then we can use the new model of defining the Key Vault secrets in Terraform. So I switch back here to the new Terraform template that I've created here under Key Vault airbag folder. And from here, if I go to main.tf, so here I still create Terraform uh, or I still create a Key Vault instance as before, but with only change that here I say enable airbag authorization and this will use the new airbag model for defining authentication and authorization to my secrets. And then from here, I still you create a Key Vault secret with the secret name and the secret value that I have created inside variables uh, file. And note here how I am creating a new role assignment. So I have actually two role assignments here. One role assignment that will be bound to my uh, Key Vault instance, where the scope here is my Key Vault instance that I've created right here. So here I want to have the role Key Vault Secrets Officer in order to be able to create new secrets in that Key Vault instance. And I'm using here the principal ID, my own user. Uh, in Active Directory, my own uh, ID in Active Directory, and that is referenced with Azure RM client config dot current dot object ID. Of course, here imagine you can use, uh, you can give this uh, role to a service principal, for example, or a managed identity. After that, maybe here I have an application or a service principal or another user that wants to get access to read my secrets, to list and read the content of my secrets. For that, I'm using here or I'm creating a second role assignments to get the role Key Vault Secrets user. This one will be able to list and read the secrets. So here I'm binding that 
to myself right here in this case, but it could be also another identity. And then I'm specifying the scope to be the scope of the ID of that password. So note here how I am using the string interpolation to get the ID of that password. And that ID actually, it's not the key vault dot, uh, uh, key vault, uh, dot com slash uh, whatever, it should be actually the real ID used in Azure. And that have this uh, format right here. That should be the slash subscriptions, subscription ID, resource groups, your key vault uh, instance name, and then slash secrets, then slash the secret name. So for that, I'm using string interpolation to get first the first part, which is going to be the key vault ID, which is going to be this part right here, and then slash secrets, and then the name of my uh, secret inside uh, Key Vault. Until today, the, f the only way to get this uh, uh, password ID is through this string interpolation. If you try here to get this scope as the secret dot database dot id this id actually won't give you this exact uh, um, id it will show give you the id of the secret with the key vault uh, url so here we are using two rules one rule for to be able to create the secret and a second rule to be able to read the secret and those two rules actually should be uh, synchronized or one should run after the other actually. So here, not how I am using the depends on because I wanted this secret to be created after assigning the role secret officer. Otherwise, they will be, our Terraform will try to create both resources at the same time. And of course, if I don't have yet that role defined in Key Vault, I won't be able to create this secret. Remember, this role is for creating or for being able to create the secret. So I should first create that role, wait until it's uh, it's assigned on my Azure subscription, and then I can use it to create or I can start creating a new secret right here. And my secret, or actually the role assignment to be able to read that secret, this one will be created the last resource because here Terraform is intelligent enough to detect that uh, this depends on the key vault resource. So it will be created after the key vault is created, but it will be also created after uh, the secret is created. Because here I have a dependency on that secret name. Let's now go to see how this works. So. Switching back to my command line here, I, I have already run the command terraform init to initialize the terraform plugin. And then I have run the command terraform plan and they can see that this one will go to create a, a key vault instance. It will go to create the password, a resource group, role assignment for secret officer and role assignment for secret user. So five resources will be created. Let's go to run this plan. So I run here Terraform apply TF plan. Great. Now the resources were created and here you can see the secret ID that is not the Azure ID. Actually, this is the secret ID in terms of the data plane. So now if I go to my Azure subscription, refresh the resource groups, or I can just go to resources and from here I can see my new key vault that I've created right here. And if I go to access policies, you will see that the permission model is now Azure Airbag. And if I go to secrets from here, you'll see that now I have the secret database password. And if I go to check access control on the key vault level from here, if I go to role assignments, I will see that I have the role key vault secrets officer. And if I go back to that secret, go to that database password, access control, then from here, from role assignments, I should see that now I have the key vault secrets user. And of course, that key vault secrets officer will be inherited on the uh, secret level. 
I hope this demo was helpful for you and I will leave you here with some few resources like the key vault uh, description in the uh, Terraform and the creation of a role assignment in Terraform and also the Microsoft documentation about the roles that you can use with key vault and key vault uh, secrets like key vault administrator, certificates officer, crypto officer, service encryption user, key vault crypto user, Key Vault Reader, Secrets Officer, and Secrets User. And of course, the Terraform template that we have created today is already uploaded in GitHub and this repo. So you can go to check it out. That should be the folder 12 airbag uh, Terraform uh, or Key Vault airbag with the main.tf template that describes the template that we have used today. Thank you and see you in next videos.